Welcome back you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in again. I hope you're all doing good. As you can tell by the crank arm in my hand, I am going to do a bit of a review today. If I can get my words out, a bit of a review today. We are going to be looking at the in-peak power meter. Can you see it here? Look, it's quite funky. Look, it attaches to your crank arm and then it measures data. You can get them in like single-sided or dual-sided. I went for the single-sided, mainly because I've used uh, pedals for power meter and my balance is always like 50-50. So one's enough for me. I think one's enough for most people. I mean, if you want more data, they do do too, but it obviously is a higher cost. Um, so there's a couple of ways you can get these actually. You can buy it already pre-installed on a crank arm. So I went for the custom option. I sent my crank arm off to them. They attached the power meter. I don't know how they did this. It looks like it's like bonded on there. I mean, there's no like looseness or play or, you know, and you guys have seen how much I've abused this. I've literally submerged this in water or on rides. It's, um, it's really well sealed here. Look, can you see? So this is where the battery goes. It's like a CR2032. Is that what it is? Like the same as a heart rate monitor. So it takes the same battery. It's got like 200 hours of like battery life. Maximum, that is. I find for me it lasts about like 100 hours, which is like decent, you know. The batteries are cheap, easy to replace. So the price of these. So if you do what I did and you send your crank arm to the guys at Impink, they will attach this power meter for you and it, the price varies depending on what crank you've got or what setup you want to go for. I'll put their website up here so you guys can have a little look at the prices and stuff. I think it's all in euros, but it gives you an idea. So if you send your crank arm off like I did and they install a power meter, I think it's like three days the install time and then whatever postage is so like in the uk postage is awful at the moment so it might take a little bit longer and the cost was 309 euros which is like really reasonable i'd say especially considering how well it actually performs so it's a really accurate power meter it can compete with like all those other power meters whether it be like quark power tap stages they all kind of claim the same like reading within the same tolerances is that what you say tolerances within a few percentage you know because you don't want your power meter readings to be massively off so i have actually ran this power meter with one of my head units and then i put my power tap pedals on as well so the reading for those two was pretty much exactly the same and also put my gravel bike on my saris h3 like indoor trainer and I was running Zwift with the power meter and then I had a head unit showing the power of the trainer. And again, like the powers match up. So their accuracy is like, boom, spot on. So like I said, it's about 309 euros. If you send your crank off, they fit the power meter and then post it back to you. So it's about 300 euros to get your one fitted. Um, I think like if you use Durace or Road Cranks, it's actually a little bit cheaper, so around 260. Um, and then if you wanted to buy everything pre-installed, depending on what model you go for, it can range from like, 380 to like 400 odd pounds when you've got like a Durace. So they're probably the most affordable option is actually to post off your crank arm. It doesn't take them too long to do this either. I posted mine out and I think it was it was returned back to the UK within a week, which is really fast. So they say that they will have it fitted within three days of receiving it and then get it sent straight back. And it is like a real quick turnaround. So just be aware that if you are gonna send off your crank, you might be without a crank for one or two weeks. But I'd say honestly, really worth it. So I suppose quickly, why would you wanna run a power meter? For me personally, I would find it really hard to train without a power meter. If the more you get into cycling, the more people tend to get into data, whether that be like a heart rate or they start using Strava, they start logging miles. It's all progression. And, and the final progression I would say is you get a power meter fitted to your bike and it just gives you a little bit extra data. And if you're training, it is the most valuable training tool. I would say there's nothing more efficient than training with power compared to heart rate. It's just like a world apart you know like it's genuinely so much better i've got so used to having data it's actually kind of bad in a way that now when i go for a ride on one of my bikes that doesn't have a power meter i feel a bit weirded out so now i'm like contemplating getting another power meter put on another crank because i have one bike that doesn't have a power meter on it and i like that data i just like it i mean it doesn't necessarily i'm not necessarily going to do something with it all the time but that's why i like having a power meter so it's very competitively priced it's very similar to like other like higher end brands i say it's very similar i've used a lot of different power meters and, and honestly they all kind of do a very similar thing whether it's like info crank or like a quark or power tap pedals like they all essentially do the same thing they project the amount of power you're putting out or through your like crank set onto onto your head unit or like Zwift or whatever it is you want to use it for. So I actually prefer this crank to my PowerTap pedals. The reason for that being is that like, pedals are very easy to swap between bikes and that's really nice. I can just put them on different bikes so since I've got a power on every bike. But if you're racing, pedals are a very like exposed part when you crash. And so if you're racing crits and that kind of thing, 
like having a crank arm power meter it's a lot more hidden you know it's, it's slightly less exposed so the resale price of my power tap pedals was like a thousand pounds and i said you can buy three of these so you could get three bikes kitted out with a power meter on the crank arm for the price of a pair of power pedals um, i'm not sure how much like garmin pedals are now power meter pedals are great because you can switch them between bikes but i feel they're just a little bit more exposed whether that's like rocks when you're riding on the trails or like crashes that sort of thing just a little bit safer to go for this and then the cost you know if they cost three times more for most people three bikes you know is more than enough and you just chuck a power meter on every bike and it's the same as a pair of power tap pedals job done so that's a very long-winded way of saying i think it's quite competitively priced i didn't say like affordable at the moment in this like current climate it's still 300 euros you know it is a fair amount of money to be spending on an additional bike part especially if you're not training and you just want the numbers but I would say it's competitively priced and for a power meter, it's pretty cheap. And so I suppose lastly, durability. This thing, <laughs> honestly, I was riding the other day, if you haven't watched like my last video, I was riding through essentially a stream. This crank arm was just like submerged in the stream the entire time. And you know what? My power was always displayed on my cycle computer. There was no like wavering from it. Literally it was submerged for like a good few minutes, you know? So I can definitely hand on heart say that this thing is like an absolute beast when it comes to durability. Yeah, it's brilliant. I'm sure I've missed loads of stuff. I've given you the price. I feel like it's affordable. It's really durable. The turnaround is really quick. It's very easy to fit, to pair. Absolutely no issues at all. Literally like, like pairing anything nowadays. You just turn it on and search for a power meter on your head unit and it just pops up. It pops up on my Wahoo, my Garmin and my Brighton. So it's never had any issues pairing to anything. What else do you want to know? I think it's good and you can like submerge it and not a lot of you guys are going to submerge it and it's incredibly durable. So yeah, win, win, win. So there we go. There's my little review of the InPeak power meter. I've got to say as well, like the way that this is like attached, right? It's dead impressive. Like, honestly, I like I, I can't I can't stress how much I abuse my bike and how this thing is just like it's still how is it still attached and how is it still working? I was not expecting it to still be working after the abuse I've put it through. So that's my review of the InPeak power meter. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I've put links down below. Check them out if you want to check out Impeak. Um, I'll put links to their Instagram and then their shop, online shop, all that sort of stuff. They are based in Poland, but they have English speaking staff, so communication is all good. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.